Hi and welcome to First Impressions where I give you the gist of a car spec sheet and some interesting bits about the car you might want to consider before buying it. For this episode we take a look at the new MG Aster which is the first car in India with built-in AI. Pretty exciting stuff inside this car. First off, if you didn't know, MG is owned by a Chinese automotive company called Saic. While some development and design still takes place in the UK, most of it, if not all, is manufactured in China. For example, the first MG SUV, the Hector, is based on the Baojun 530, and the Gloucester is based on the Maxus D90. And when I say based on, I mean the exact same car with a different badge stuck on it. Maybe that's what they do in the UK. Anyway, the Aster is basically the petrol engine version of the MG ZS EV, which is a 4 year old car at this point. With some exterior upgrades like the Hawkeye full LEDs on the front and that massive grille which MG calls the Bold Celestial Grille. A little pretentious? Maybe, but it does look good. It comes with 17 inch alloy wheels, all discs with red brake calipers. Nice! Hope more everyday cars make use of the calipers to show some contrast. From the back it's pretty standard. You open the boot using the MG badge as the handle, it has a dual exhaust design and a short spoiler on top. MG provides 5 color options. Personally I think the black looks stunning, but that's me with everything. Stepping inside the car, we start to appreciate it more. It has perforated leather seats with a dual tone design, but no ventilated seats, which is a huge drawback. It also has electric adjustable seats, lumbar support, a premium looking dash and of course on top of it is the personal AI assistant. It also has a Brit Dynamic badge which according to the company website, products wearing the Brit Dynamic badges showcase the British automobile standard of performance, handling, design and safety. Well, if you say so. Thankfully, the center console does come with some physical buttons this time unlike the Hector so you don't have to completely rely on the voice recognition system of the car. It comes with a 10.2 inch touchscreen display. The digital assistant not only understands English but also English commands which means somebody other than Benedict Cumberbatch can talk to the car. Got his name right the first time. This car when looking at its dimensions, it does seem to be able to fit two people very easily in the back. And safety wise, even though it doesn't officially have a rating, its similar counterpart scored 5 stars in the crash test rating. Overall, it all looks very comfortable and sophisticated as it should be in an MG. Now let's look at the performance. It is a front wheel drive car. The engine in the turbo version is a 1.3 litre 3 cylinder engine. Seems a little less but it does have a turbo which means more bang for buck and better fuel efficiency. It maxes out at a 138 bhp and 220 torque. The engine on the non-turbo version is a 1.5 litre 4 cylinder VTI tech engine which only makes 108 bhp with 144 torque. It has a 6 speed gearbox with manual and automatic variants but only automatic if you want the turbo version which is a shame. But it is an MG and an MG owner is not likely going to redline his engine in a tunnel. All he's looking for is comfort, sophistication and leather. Leather absolutely everywhere he touches. The Aster also does not come with a diesel engine. But it does come fully loaded with a bunch of features offering convenience and comfort. It has heated side mirrors so it doesn't fog up. Intelligent headlamp control which deactivates high beams when it senses oncoming traffic. It can read speed signs and will curb the speed to match it even if you have your foot down. Panoramic sunroof as standard on all models. You can even use your phone to start the car if you forgot your keys. 360 degree camera view and best of all is the ADAS level 2. Level 2 autonomous driving or partial driving automation. It doesn't mean the car can drive by itself. It just comes with a bunch of driving aids like adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection, lane change assist, emergency automatic braking when it detects a front collision. Think of it this way, ADAS level 2 is the best you can do with an actual human monitoring the driving 24-7. Should you consider buying it? The MG Aster has the latest tech available in the market and some premium features for a not so premium price. 
It also has a sporty look and a modern comfortable interior. I'm not sure how much of the automated driving features you would actually use in an everyday environment, but you know it's there if and when you need it. If all of this floats your boat, then you must definitely consider the MG Aster. Thank you so much for watching till the end. This is my first video on this channel. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, if you liked the video, or if you didn't, you know what to do. If you have any suggestions or feedback, I'm all yours. As a great man once said, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.